Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today we are making more um, treats for my grandsons. With things being the way they are this year, we are not going to see them for Halloween. I'm certain sure of it, but I haven't been seeing them for over a week now and it's heading bad again here. So I'm simply preparing lots of wee treats that they know I'm still thinking about them and just trying to make Halloween a wee bit special, saying as like there's going to be no fireworks to spare anything this year. It's all going to be dead, you know. So the best way is to treat them, isn't it? So these wee boxes are so cute. They hold two packets of um, Skittles, so wee mini packets of Skittles. And all you need to make them is, if I can find it, my favourite, favourite stamp set for this time of the year is Banner Year. You need to get it if you love making wee treats and stuff. This is a fantastic wee set. I am using the Happy Hunting, the Pumpkin, the Pumpkin Leaf and Stock and the Pumpkin Face and uh, the Spider's Web. And that's it. That's all I'm using on this whole wee uh, treat box along with these gorgeous dyes which are called stitched nested label dyes and I'm using this one here so um, this makes it all so easy I did make one of these last year with one of the bigger um, nested labels a Christmassy one you'll see it on down in the uh, videos if you want to check it out and I've incorporated the wee black spider again from all my last treats uh, you'll see the videos for those as well. These are class, like they're only a pound out of the pound shop and it just makes such a big uh, attraction to the box, I think, especially for boys. So I'm doing another one in the pumpkin pie. Yeah, I'm doing this one. This one was done in the granny apple green. So I'm leaving it for the oldest boy and then the other two brothers um, need everything the same. So I'm doing two of them in the pumpkin pie. So let's get started. To start, you're going to need to cut yourself two of the labels that I showed you. Um, if you haven't got the labels, you can make yourself <laughs> this shape. It's easy enough, I'd say. Have a go at it if you want. But if you have the labels, go for it. Right, so you need two of those in that particular size. And I'll just tell you the measurements of that. From point to point, it is four and a quarter and widthwise it's two and a quarter so that's what you need and you need two strips of black I wanted to make it black just to make it more striking rather than doing the same colour up the side so you need two of these uh, five and six eighths by two inches and you just need to do a wee bit of scoring on all of these just bring them all up here and hope to get you into shot so for your um, black pieces, score at half an inch and half an inch. So you're just going at half an inch and one and a half on both of them. And then burn it round and score at one and three eighths. Not right. One, two, three eighths. I know it's an odd combination, but that's the size you need to... Um, make the box oh put one and three eighths and four i was just going to scoot around it's the same thing four and three eighths so do the same whoops whoops half an inch and one and a half turn it round one and one two three eighths and four and one two three eighths that's that done and then for these um, you need line them up nice and straight tip to there and just score it at the point where it comes um, nicely just sort of from point to point so just line it up where you think you're hitting the point and make sure it's butted up and just score down just the two bottom sections so that's all your scoring done and we'll get the side pieces ready first oops keep just moving everywhere so we're just simply going to cut up those at either side just making a wee um, V shape at either side of your 
score marks. Oops. Same in this. And you can actually um, do the end ones if you want. This end you don't need. This is going to be your top end. So just do the same here. The kids are going to miss out on so much this year, aren't they? Like they love, it's not like we have big parties or anything over here, but we do. The youngsters love to get into the outfits and do their neighbours' doors for trick and treat. So none of that is going to happen, unfortunately. So score down those um, markings on both sides and on the centres. Just using basic black card here, I forgot to say that. So a good sturdy black card if you can get it. That's that one done. Oops. One. See on the other side. And then just these ones. Now, we need to do a bit of stamping now. So keep those to one side and get these and a sheet of paper if you have it for stamping on. But you can over stamp. And we're just going to stamp our way um, spider. So I'm just um, inking it up with Memento. And we're just going to start at the top and you just decide where you want to stamp it, turn it. And I think you're better going to the center rather than going to the other end because it doesn't balance out perfectly. And just keep doing that until you've both cards uh, filled up. So that's them all uh, stamped up. So you want to go to the wee part that you scored and get a crease. And same this side. And then we're going to attach our wee um, bits and pieces so that this sits right along here. And you want the bottom one to the, the ones that you didn't trim like so. So we're going to stick that there to start us off. So your bendy bit to the back end. And just line that point up with that point. But you've got a good take on it and this one will go to this side again the bendy part towards the top you just make sure you get those points well lined up so they're not going over anywhere they shouldn't that's just the most important part of this to keep it all lined up. No, I'm under... On the top of this, um, you want to mark it. Sort of line it up on your grid or your ruler or whatever, and you'll see that you have 
more or less, one, two, three, four wee squares. So go to that centre, go down a wee bit. Oh, wrong side. It's this one. That's the bottom. Go to the top. And the one that you did uh, crop in a bit and go to the centre and mark a wee dot just so that you can punch a hole for your ribbon. And if you line uh, this one up to be the same before you glue it on, you'll be able to line your ribbon. You'll see the hole. You probably won't see it, but I can see it here. So just go through that same hole again, and that gives you it perfectly lined up. So now we want to add our other side. And again, keep your holes lined up so that everything's in the right direction. Just pop this one on here. Make sure you've got those. Ooh. Lined up. And then this one is going to line up with this one. And that's going to form your nice wee box. Just make sure that you're happy with the way it's lining up. And that's it. And these ones are going to fold inside. And we'll just put, I think we'll actually just put a bit of tape around it rather than getting messed up with the glue because I always end up sticking. So if you have a tape pen or you have um, 3D tape or something, you could do it this way. Just to hold it. So turn your wee flaps out of the way and pop these inside. And then get this one and pop it inside. I hope I'm still in. Turn those so that you can stand it up and then just go in with your bone folder and make sure everything's getting pushed into the right places. So we just need to glue these wee bottom bits down and we'll use wet glue for those. So just put a wee bit of glue on the triangle, both sides. I think it gives such a nice wee finish to the box, that wee decoration at the bottom, doesn't it? So, please stick. Now I'm going to pop my sweets in now. If you sort of shake them about, they are quite tight in there, but I don't want to be like skimpy and putting just one packet in. So... They do, they do fit in, but they do bulge it out a wee tiny bit, so once you get your sweeties in, just give them a wee shake. And sort of spread you out a bit. Just be waiting on that taken. Oh, it's going there. So, you want to be able to then close these in. And then we're just going to tie our ribbon between the two so ribbon where are you i'm still using this lovely ribbon from last year i don't think you can get it but you can get the lovely uh, halloweeny type sparkly black ribbon which would be perfect for christmas and halloween so if you're stuck that's what you need to get so you don't need a big giant bow this is for boys after all so we girls then go ahead and put a big flashy bow on it if you want. Just make sure you're happy where it's sitting and then tie a wee bit of a bow. So 
So, and chop it off. Just a wee bit of a bow. Not bad, cheers, not. So now we need to decorate our front and for it you want to punch yourself a circle using the two and a quarter for the black. Just plain black and then you need a two inch one in the whisper white. And we're going to start with our pumpkin. And we'll go with um, pumpkin pie ink. Now this is quite juicy, this one, because we brand new. So hope for the best. So we're going to leave a wee tiny bit because you can see that I went round there and did a wee bit of the web. A bit of over stamp so stamp that just up fractionally and I'll clean this off you want to go in with the wee face actually we'll do the the warden when I have this ink opened so we're going happy hunting Inked up enough, and I'm again. I'm leaving room for the wee stock, hopefully, and a bit of the web around the outside. So we'll do our stock, and I'm just using a wee bit of green. Look at this red. And now we just need to do the wee web around the edges. And again, just go in with the black. And use your page so that you, you can over stamp. So you're just going around like so. When you have more room, use it. When you haven't, uh, pull it away out. Just to take that wee plain look away from it. If you can't get too much in, um, go the side way of you. You'll get a wee bit more stamped. It's the coolest wee stamp. That's so handy to have a wee small web rather than a big webbed stamp. When you're only looking wee submissions of it, you know. And again, I'll go sideways just to get it along the bottom. And there he is, isn't that cute? Quick and easy. So we we'll want to add some dimensionals to that to raise it up. And stick it on top of your black circle. And we're just going to use wet glue to stick this onto the front of the box. Now for these boys I always use Yoohoo glue simply because they're plastic and they need a really good strong quick drying glue. The tomboy would probably hold it eventually but you don't want it slipping and sliding about while it's trying to take. Plus the surface on that is so 
slinky, you know, slippery that um, I think it would struggle to hold it. So just pat that. You can be more generous and put one or two spiders up the back, but I think it just adds that wee spickiness to it. So there you are. Three nice boxes done and ready to go to match my, my card game and my wee triangular treats. So I'm hoping the boys will enjoy these. Now thanks for watching and I'll have all the things you use down below and happy holding.